Lakes Area Radio Theater has been producing old-time and contemporary radio stories for more than 10 years from our studio in Alexandria, Minnesota. Check out our website, lakesareatheater.com, to learn more. No, I'm only about an hour from the road. Tippy, I'm fine. I'm at the campsite now, and I still have three bars. I'll be in contact the whole time. All right. I promise I'll leave if anyone else shows up. But they're not going to. The reason my dad loves this spot is no one else knows where it is. I promise. Yeah, I'm here. I, I gotta go. Love you too. I, I gotta go. Bye. Um, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Hey! Ah! Whoa! What? Oh, oh man, I had my headset in. I can see that. I didn't know you were there. What do you think you're doing? Well, I'm, uh thought this campsite was available. Well, it's not. I got here first. Right, yeah. You staying? Why else do you think I'd be here? I just noticed you're all packed up. I thought maybe you were heading out. I just got here. I haven't unpacked yet. Oh. Were you gonna stay? Of course I was going to stay. You've got a little attitude, don't you? Excuse me? Whoever told you that severe librarian works for you? It really doesn't. You just come off as, uh, you know. No, I don't know. And I don't want to. And I don't care what you think, because I got here first. So this is my campsite. There's plenty of others. Go find one. Well, I... Well, what? I mean, this site is plenty big enough for two tents, or two sleeping bags if you were going to sleep out. I have a tent. Me too. So we're good. What do you think you're doing? This site is plenty big enough for both of us. I'll just stay over here. No! If you're worried I'm going to try something, I won't. Trust me. I don't even know you. I don't even know you. You could be a serial killer or something. I am not a serial killer. Is what you would say if you were one. If I were a serial killer, wouldn't that be a reason for you to go far away from me? I'm not worried. I know Taekwondo. Really? Well, I took Taekwondo in sixth grade for a week. Look, there are plenty of other campsites. Go find one. I got here first. I registered the site with the rangers and everything. You registered at the ranger station. That makes the hike in, like, twice as long. And I still beat you here by several minutes. Minutes? So you did just arrive. Doesn't matter. I beat you here. This is my site. (sighs) Look, this site... It's very special to me and my family. I just wanted to spend one night here because I... Because. I'll leave you alone, I promise, but if I... What do you mean, the site is special to your family? Wow, interrupt much? What do you mean by that? That's none of your business. If you want to stay, you're going to explain what you meant. Are you saying if I tell you, you'll let me stay? Just explain what you meant by that. Fine. What are you doing? I'm leaving. That's what you want, isn't it? What? Take the damn sight. I don't care. Well, okay. I mean, I'm I'm sorry. Oh, she's sorry. I I just... Don't strain yourself, dude. Pretty obvious you prefer to be alone, and that you've got a lot of practice doing it. I'll be on my merry way. I just don't... Look! You won. Okay? You're getting the sight, you're getting your privacy, and you'll never have to see me again if you can just keep your passive-aggressive mouth shut for ten seconds. Can you do that? Good start. Have a nice life. Whoa, what are you doing? Nothing, just leave me alone. Put that back. Put what back? The stone from the fire ring. You just took a stone out of the fire ring. 
So, it looked like a lovely souvenir of our time together. You can't. Watch me. You you can't break up the ring of fire. What did you say? I, I said you can't vandalize the campsite like that. This is state property. No, and- no, that's not what you said. You said, I can't break up the ring of fire. Well, I mean, it... Do not break up the ring of fire, lest it become your funeral pyre. But fan the flames higher and higher, so the the life you live live will awe inspire. inspire. All right, how do you know that poem? It's not really a poem. It's a rhyming couplet. I was an English major. Congratulations. Now, who sent you? Was it Mark and those jerks from the office? What? Was it Candace? This would be the kind of weird revenge she'd go for. Well, next time you see her, would you please remind her that the breakup was mutual? And I did give her back her stupid vinyl records. I don't know any Candace. Then how did you know my mom's poem? It's not a poem. It's a rhyming... Wait, did you say your mom's poem? I gotta go. Wait! I'm taking the rock. You can't stop me. If you move the others around, it'll make a perfectly solid fire ring. But you said... Wait! See you around, English major. You can stay. What? You can stay in the sight. Just keep on your side, and put the stone back in the ring. Look, I don't think it's such a great Don't you want to know how I know that poem? Well, since you admitted it is a poem, I guess I have to stay. All right. But first, would you tell me how you know it? Why? Just humor me. Please. I'll tell you how I know, and you can stay in the sight. I promise. Just please. Okay, fine. My mom and I used to come up to this site every year. It's a special place for us. She couldn't make it this year, so I came ahead. Just for a night, you know? Just so the streak wouldn't be broken. The streak? Mom and I have come up every summer for an overnight since I was ten. That's eighteen years. I didn't want to break the streak. Right. The firing was what made the site special. You look around the park, all the other sites have those cinder block pits with the metal grate for cooking. This is the only site in the park with the ring of stones. And this stone, the stone I was going to take with me, I brought this stone and put it in the ring myself. I brought it from home, the house I wasn't going to live in anymore. I was 12. Mom and Dad's divorce had just gone through, and he had moved to Oregon. Mom and my sister and I had to move to an apartment. You knew the poem. Yes. How? It was from my dad. Okay. We don't have a streak, not 18 straight years, but we tried to come up as often as we could. A couple of years, we came up more than once. You see that black shiny rock? It's basalt, yeah. That's mine. It was my dad's. He had a rock collection and gave it to me to bring it up here, join it with the ring. It's our special place. Our special place, too. Uh, Mom and me, I mean. Yeah. Do you think every one of those stones belongs to some kid? That a whole bunch of people come here? Did your dad tell you that? No, it's just something I wondered. I mean, how else could both of us know that couplet? Mom always told me she found this site with a friend when she was just a kid. They made up the poem together. Dad never shared. Here. What is it? I have a photo. Yeah, right here. This is my dad. Wow, an actual print. Well, it's from the 90s, so yeah. Hmm. Was this on a trip up here? I don't know. I mean, he's got a backpack and boots and looks like he's been in the woods. Could be up here. I know he backpacked a ton when he was young. Wait. What is it? There's a shadow behind him. See? On the rock. There's a second person in this photo. Yeah, he told me. He said it was an ex from his undergrad years. This edge of the print is a little sharper than the others. Like it had been cut with scissors. Wait a minute. What? My phone. Hang on. Yeah, here, look. What is this? I always liked this picture of my mom. But my sister has it now. I took a snapshot with my phone as a keepsake. It's the same picture. She's in her hiking gear, and the lighting, the rock behind them. It's all the same. 
Look, hold them side by side. Well, I guess we figured out why we both know that poem now. It's a couplet. Could I ask you a question? I guess. When's your birthday? March 26th. Why? Oh, nothing. Wait a minute. Were you thinking that your dad and my mom... Just forget about it. You thought we had a Luke and Leia thing, like Long Lost Winds? What? No. How old are you? Rude. Uh, 28, I bet. And whatever your birthday is, it isn't March 26th, right? It was just a thought, okay? There's no harm in wanting a little drama in your life. I mean, it is a romantic idea, isn't it? What is? Two lovers finding a special campsite all their own. They drift apart but bring their kids up over the years to try and recapture some of the magic. They make up a poem about the firing. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't talk about my mother that way. What way? Are you... angry at me? Speculating as to how many guys she's shacked up with? I'm not suggesting that. She was just a kid. My dad, too. Then please don't talk about her that way. I wanted to sleep here tonight, and now all I can think about is her in some tent with a random bearded dude. My father is not some random dude. He's a great man who always provided for us, and was a wonderful husband and father. Okay, sorry. He chaperoned on school trips, and he coached t-ball and soccer. Hey. Hey, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Just chill. And he didn't shack up with your mom. If they had a relationship, I'm sure it was beautiful. Where's your dad now? None of your business. He left, didn't he? The way you're acting, I think he left. In a minute, I'm going to punch you in your smug face. Smug? You come up here, you ruined my weekend. Your weekend? <laughs> and you dare call me smug. What the hell's wrong with you? I got the campsite first. By minutes, maybe. And you don't even know a thing about me or my family. Oh, well, that cuts both ways. So if I'm ruining your weekend, you're ruining mine too. This is important to me. It's more important to me. You don't understand. Understand what? How much more important your feelings are? No. Then what? She's dead, okay? What? My mother died a month ago. Fought cancer for four years, but it finally won. This is it. This is the end of the streak. It shouldn't, it shouldn't even really count, because we're not up here together. But I just... I couldn't... I t it's okay. Shut up. It's okay. You don't... You can't... I don't even know your name. It's Penelope. <laughs> Seriously? I go by Penny. My dad always called me Penny. I'm Sean. Good to meet you, Sean. Likewise. He didn't leave, did he? Your dad, I mean? Not really. Not really? I talked to him before I came up here. Had a nice afternoon with him. Of course, he thought I was one of the nurses. Then he thought I was my sister for a little while. Then I asked him to tell me the story of the day I was born, because that's the one story he could always remember. But he couldn't. He got mixed up in the details. He was pretty upset then. Like he knew he should remember the story, but couldn't. He cried real tears. He was so frustrated. But after a minute, he looked at me and asked if I was new in the kitchen thought I was there to bring him his lunch. Thing is, he's as strong as an ox. If not for the dementia, he easily could have made the hike today. Carried water, cut the firewood, complained that I brought cheap maple syrup instead of the real thing. His body could go on ten, maybe fifteen more years. But his mind? I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Sorry for your mom, I mean. Thank you. What are you going to do? Put the rock back in the fire ring. Did you bring any wood? Some. 
I wasn't sure I was going to stay the night. I brought enough. Kindling, too. Do you have a water bag? Of course. I'll go down to the station and fill it up if you... Start the fire? If you would. (laughs) What did you bring for grub? Pancake mix for tomorrow. Hot dogs for tonight. I got Franks and beans. What? This has been The Fire Ring, starring Caleb Silvers and introducing Carice Boyer. Script, direction, and sound design by Jeffrey Adams. Some sound effects courtesy of the Freesound Project at freesound.org. This program copyright 2022 by the Icebox Radio Theater, which is solely responsible for its content. Partial funding made possible in part by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board thanks to legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. For more information, visit iceboxradio.org.